I don't want kids. I don't know. I'm trying to start a business. Yeah, I think it's uh, messed up to not be there for your kids if you're working. You can get nannies, but not the same as being around for your kids. So if the time comes, I want them. I will adopt one. My wife uh, did the booking because it was all in Japanese, but I found the website and I found the information. And then, um, yeah, we just, uh, yeah, it was, it seemed not hard. There were websites in English that were really expensive. Uh, because I live in Japan and uh, also because I thought that if uh, it was in Japanese, then the experience would be a lot easier on my purse, um, you know, um, and the service would be just as good because it's Japan. And um, yeah, uh, we can run you anywhere from like 800 bucks with the one place that I'm going to tomorrow, or it could be like... Uh, anywhere up to like 3,500 bucks um, at one place in Ginza. I mean, I don't really have any idea of how much it would cost. I thought it would definitely cost uh, under $10,000, but further than that, I never really um, thought about the price of it. I thought it was just something when you decide to do it, then, you know, you go all in. A little bit, you know. You, you can't help but feel like you're losing something. Um, and um, I think you are. But I think that's a decision that you can, you know, as an adult, you can make that decision. And, you know, you got to be, you got to live with yourself. You got to be okay with it. So for me, I really, really love my business. I really, really love my job. I love what I do. And I want to continue doing that, you know, 100%. I think it's like getting a tattoo, you know. Every review I saw online was like, ah, like it hurt afterwards. And some people were like, oh, I had to like wear a pamper for a week. And some people were like, Oh, I had to, one of my nuts was hurting for five days. So I think, you know, the experience varies, but I mean, same as with tattoos, like you can get AIDS from a tattoo and needle. So I'm not that concerned. So we're on the way right now to the uh, clinic. Uh, it says the place closes at one o'clock online, one to three, but the time they gave us was 1.30. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens when they get there if they're closed. That's gonna be lit, I would love that. So yeah, I'm going into the clinic. And then we'll see what happens. So I'm at the clinic now, getting ready to get this done. Turns out they actually didn't know that uh, I was coming here for what I'm coming here for. So it's gonna be interesting. I'm really hated if I can't get it done today. So they got cute little chairs. A cute little man. Yeah, so I'm in the doctor's office now. I had testicular torsion when I was 19, so he's about to feel on my balls. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. They had me pee in a cup, and then they uh, told me some stuff in Japanese. And then, uh, I had me go in a room with the doctor who explained a few things about what he was doing. He drew a picture of someone's balls and described all the parts. And then he showed where he's gonna cut the uh, vas deferens at. And then he played with my balls. And then he said, hey, sorry, I don't have time. So you're gonna have to come back at nine. And here we are now. Five hours later. All right, so now I'm on the way back there. You can see I have different clothes on now because they told me that, well, we don't have enough time. So now it's nighttime. It's nine o'clock at night. I'll go back and try it again. <sighs> so um, we got to the clinic just now and the uh, door was locked. So the doctor came downstairs himself and let us in. And then he ran up the stairs real fast. So they have uh, told me to change into these pants here that have a hole in the front for any objects to come and go from. And uh, yeah, so uh, here we go. Wait, do I do the thing? Uh, so I just finished. Um, I could. That was a really weird experience. Um, I could definitely feel them sticking needles in places. And I could feel things being snapped and cut. Um, kind of got like a dull pain in my stomach.
stomach area. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty weird experience, but it's all done with and I'm ready to head home. So I just got back home. Um, I had to ride my bicycle back to the house standing up. I thought I might be able to sit down and like ride it slowly, but nah. I, I definitely had to ride it standing up the entire way home. Uh, I can't walk very fast because the anesthetics have started to wear off. I definitely feel for women who have a period every month because if this is what it feels like, man, y'all are the champions. So yeah, and they didn't give me any pain meds either. No pain meds, uh, just antibiotic, antibiotics and like some kind of ointment, so. I have a glass of wine. The guy had me put these shorts on that had a hole in the front. And then um, he had me lay down on the table and then he like raised the table up. And then he stuck this needle in my uh, in my junk. That was fun because you can feel the needle going in there. You can, it, it hits different when it's down there. And um, yeah, the needle went in and um, he jabbed me about like five times. And then he like massaged it in there, worked it into the area. And then once everything was numb, then he used like this laser to cut and um, you can feel him doing everything. So that's, that's pretty, I don't know if that was like freaky or interesting to me, but uh, yeah, you can definitely feel everything happening. And um, you can feel him cutting the cord. You can feel him cutting it twice. And it's not like an easy cut either. It's, a, it's definitely got to put a little bit of force behind it. So uh, yeah, and uh, I did that twice and uh, now I'm in a lot of pain. Not a lot of pain, but uh, I'll say I'm in a considerable amount of pain. It felt fast, you know. I was, I think, I was so worried, you know. I was so like scared of, of anything going wrong. That you know, I'm like gritting my teeth and like, you know, got my fingers crossed the whole time. And like before you know it, it's over. So, it, it is over pretty quickly. Um, I think being concerned about what the doctor is doing down there really uh, takes up most of your thinking so the time goes by fast. As you can see, my hair is purple and I feel like 500,000 bucks because I'm just 500 short of a million. Uh, I have not been in a whole lot of pain after the first day. The first day was the worst day. Um, but the whole thing was uh, pretty painless, I guess, as 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 painful. It's it was about as painful as as getting a tattoo, um, except the pain was in my stomach and in my balls. And I couldn't walk for like a day. I couldn't walk. Right. But um, after that, like the next day was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, e pretty much easier to walk. And um, third day, I had no problems at all. Um, I can still feel like if I land too hard, uh, something is gonna, something bad is gonna happen, I feel. But um, other than that, I think uh, internally I'm healing. Um, externally, everything looks a-okay. And uh, now I just have to clear the pipes and we'll be ready for some, um, to test out the new gear, guys. So thanks for being along with the uh, experience here. This is your boy, 120. And this has been another episode of Tokyo Tanks. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching Tokyo Tanks.